Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, this is a hair washing video. I haven't bought you guys one of these videos in a long time and you guys loved my last video. So I'm sitting here washing my hair in the sink as usual. You guys should know me by now. I love me some scolding hot water on my hair. Some people may agree, some people may disagree, but I love the hot water on my hair. And you can see the steam literally coming from the water. So that is what I'm doing here. I st always start with saturating my hair because my hair does not like water. So I have to sit there and saturate it in water for a very long time in order for my hair to get soaked and then absorb all the products that I'm about to put in it in order to clean my scalp and things like that. So I'm just running my fingers through my hair, getting it all together. And later on in this video, you guys saw last time that I had a ball spot that is gone so I'm so excited that my hair grew back from that ball spot but there are other problems once my hair is completely saturated I always go in with this sweet ginger cleanser I really really love this cleanser like I said if you have scratches in your head make sure you're a little gentle with the cleanser because it does have a little tingle to it but I go in and I rub this all over my head all on my scalp all on my ends and make sure I really get in there Sometimes this cleanser need a little boost so I just dip my head in the water just to get the products a little bit more lathery and I just go in and wash my hair as usual. Once I have everything lathered and I feel like my hair is clean and the cleanser did its job, I go in and rinse out the cleanser and I believe I go in for a second round with the cleanser. This is where I go in with the second round of the cleanser and look how much more lathered this second time around is. My hair was dirty for a good two and a half weeks and I know I told you guys I wasn't going to do that anymore because I was taking my natural hair care journey serious again but guys I was so busy I could not get to my hair and it just was so much trying to figure out a day and time to wash my hair because this is a process. Washing my hair takes a really long time. So this is where I am rinsing my hair. Guys, it took forever to get this cleanser out of my hair. I'm literally going to be rinsing this out for a while. So I'm just going to speed this part up for you guys so you guys don't have to sit here watching me with my head under hot water. This is where the real cleansing process start and me actually shampooing my hair. I'm going with my OG shampoo and I need some more because I am running super, super low. So I just go ahead and wash my hair as usual, as I always do. I make sure to use my fingertips when scrubbing my scalp so I don't scratch my scalp. Um, and I'm just going in and making sure my ends are clean. But I really love this shampoo and that's why I continue to use it.
all right guys so once that first wash is done i'm sitting here doing my rinse process it is the same process as before i just let the water soak through my scalp and get it all out making sure my hair has no soap left and i'm going to wash my hair again because literally i didn't wash my hair for two and a half weeks so i literally have so much product in my hair so much gel from being slicked up into a ponytail that i have to wash it this much so i am just letting the water run through my hair making sure everything's clean and then i'm gonna wash it again guys so this is the second wash like i said i know you probably are tired of watching me shampoo my hair by now so this is the last one i'm going to move into the conditioning process for my hair after this and you guys know i use the aussie moist conditioner so let's get into that out that shampoo I was about to go in with the Aussie Moist shampoo and I don't use Aussie Moist shampoo when I was shopping I picked up the wrong one so I had to go to the bathroom to get my conditioner for Aussie Moist I would have been so mad if I accidentally put that shampoo in my hair so I'm so glad I caught that guys so once i put the conditioner in my hair i let that sit for a good 15 to 20 minutes off camera and then when i come back i'll be rinsing it out
right guys so once my conditioner is rinsed out i'm going to detangle my hair and i'm also going to place some bio silk oil on my hair so i can style it but um after this that's pretty much it i just want to make sure my hair stays healthy and i continue to wash it on a weekly basis maybe two weeks but not two and a half weeks i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye